Hello friends and welcome back to Frontend Pathsala. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a responsive navigation bar in React using Material UI component and adapt it to different screen sizes. At the end of this tutorial, our end result should look like this. So, without delaying, let's get started with some code setup. I've created a folder called MUI-NavBar and opened VS Code inside that folder. Now, let's create a new React app. Go to Terminal and run the command npx create react app react mui navbar which is our project name followed by dash dash template paste typescript After the command completes, let's run the application. First navigate inside the project folder cd react mui navbar and run the command npm start. So our app is up and running. Next step is to install Material UI package. Head over to MUI.com, go to Docs, Material UI and then Installation. Under Installation, copy this command, go to the terminal, just terminate this, Control C and paste the command here and then run this. Once this is completed, again go back to the browser, copy the command for icons and paste in the terminal and again run the command. After it is completed, Within the source folder in app.tsx file, remove the div content. To create navbar, first we need ambar component. Let's add the ambar component. It will be imported from material UI. Remove this unnecessary import at top. Now, let's set the position prop of app bar to static. Within the app bar, let's add the toolbar component.
and import the toolbar at top from material UI. Within the toolbar, we will add the icon button for logo. Go to material UI and search for icons. You will get the list of icons. Let me search for library icon. Copy this and import it here. Now let's use this icon. Copy and paste here. Let's run this and check in browser. npm start. Let's close the previous tab. So you can see now the icon is visible. On this icon button, I am going to set size is equals to large. Age is equals to start. Color is equals to inherit. And Area label for accessibility. Next to logo, let's add the app name. We will use the typographic component for this. Import it here. Let's set the variant prop to h6 and component is equals to div. Let's give the text as frontend Patsala. Now let's check in the browser. So you can see the logo and the text. Next, let's add the navigation links to the navbar. For that, we will add the box component. And at the top, import box. Within the box, we will add various links as buttons. So, button, then import on the top. Add the first link. I am going to duplicate these buttons three more times. Rename it home. About and login. Let's check in the browser. It's not visible because we have not changed the text color. Let's add color is equals to inherit to all the buttons. Now you can see the navigation links. We will shift these links to the right hand side of the nav bar. For that, we will make the typography to grow remaining available space. So, let's add SX, pass in an object, set flex grow to 1. Now, it looks perfect. We have created the basic navigation bar, but it's not responsive now. Let's work on the responsiveness. First, we will hide the icon button for small devices. So, let's add SX, pass in an object, set display, SX to none. And MD flex. We will do the same thing for the text front end path sala. Okay, now let's hide the navigation links. I'll just copy this and paste it here. Next, we will add box component. Now, 
Inside that, let's give a six and set display access to flex and MD to none. We will be adding the hamburger icon for the responsive design. So let's search for the menu icon, copy and import it here. Next, invoke icon button. And within that, we will add the menu icon. In the icon button, let us specify the size is equals to large, age is equals to start, and color inherit. You can see the hamburger menu in the browser. We will copy this icon button and typography code and paste it down here. Then change the settings, access to flex and MD to none. Let's go to browser and check. Now when we resize the screen, hamburger icon, library icon and text frontend partsala can be seen. And if you just make it large, the hamburger icon is hidden. In the next step, we will import use state from React. First, it will contain the state of the menu like anchor nav, then give set anchor nav. Parameter as null HTML element. Now let's write the code for opening menu on click of hamburger icon. So constant open menu. is equals to event will be mouse event let's import mouse event on top from react parameter as html element Arrow function, set anchor nav, event dot current target. Next, let's write the code for closing menu. Constant close menu is equals to function arrow function, set anchor nav, null. Now let's create the content of menu item which will be displayed on click of hamburger icon. For that let's import menu from material UI and invoke the menu component. Inside the menu component will give open is equals to boolean and in bracket will give anchor nav which is the state of the menu okay now let me import menu list and menu item as well from material ui and within menu component will give menu list and menu item i'll just copy this three more times and give the text as home features about and login. So the menu content is ready now. On click of hamburger icon this content should be displayed. So on this icon button we'll give on click is equals to 
we'll call the open menu function which we have already declared above. Let's check in the browser. You can see that on click of hamburger icon we are getting the menu items. Oh, it's not getting hidden if we expand the screen size. So let's set the display excess flex and MD as none. Gone now. Inside the menu component we'll give on close is equals to we'll call the close menu function which we have declared above. So now if you click on the hamburger icon the menu items will be displayed and if you again click on that hamburger icon the menu item will be closed. We have made the navigation bar responsive. Now let's make this items dynamic. I'll create an array like cons pages will be equals to the array of the pages and will contain home features about and login. I'll just come in this buttons and create map of the pages. It will be having iterator like page. Let's add the button here. The items will be dynamic, so within the bracket page. Let's save this and check in the browser. So everything is same as before in this application. Now we will do the same thing for the smaller devices. I'll just come in this menu list and again create map of pages. Pages dot map value of the iterator page. Let's add the menu item. This will be dynamic, so within bracket page. Let's save this and check in the browser. Resize the screen. On click of hamburger icon, menu items are displayed. So with this, we have completed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your feedback in the comment section below. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.